Hey everyone, it's Holly Hanley here, and I found this really cute little pin board at Dollarama a couple days ago, and I thought it would make a, such a cute little project. So, and I also got some really fun um, new So Soft fabric acrylics from DecoArt, so I thought I'd try those on there. And of course, spring is coming, so I thought it would be fun to paint some little tulips, and I actually have this little ornament that I designed not too long ago, and I thought she would make such a cute little addition. So this, um, wouldn't this look cute hanging in your house? And you you can put like little pins um, with little notes on it or or whatever you want okay but basically what I did was I drew up this hello spring now the hardest part of this whole project was actually tracing the pattern on so what I did was I just took a little bit of charcoal and I went I put some tape over top of the pattern just so that my stylus wouldn't poke through and then I just went over the lines and that seemed to, to work to actually transfer the pattern on okay so what I'm going to do is just take a few brushes and I'm going to paint this little, some little tulips in. Okay, so we've got, I've got this little girl and if you don't have her, that's totally fine. You can just fill it up with tulips and it will look so, so super cute. And the, <laughs> the great thing is I found some, uh, So Soft has like fabric glitters now, which are, they just look like so much fun. So I can't wait to try those. So I'm just gonna use my Lunar Blenders. I love these brushes, especially for fabric, just because they have a bristle hair, so it's nice to get into that woven sort of texture. And um, what I thought I'd do is I'd add some pretty yellow and orange and pink tulips, okay? And you can wing this if you want, um, just sort of put them wherever you like, but I'm just gonna start with one that has a little bit of yellow, and then I'm gonna pull some orange from the bottom, see how this one goes. I love painting on fabric, it's so much fun. It has like a really nice texture to it that's really quite forgiving. Okay, so I'm just adding a couple of petals, a couple in the background here, like so, nice and vibrant. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of white to really add that nice little highlight. Kind of differentiate those petals. And then I'm gonna pull up some orange. So pretty. I love spring. All right. And then I'm gonna add a red one right here, maybe. Wow, that just pops. It's a pretty color. Okay, so I'm just making that center petal. Again, you sort of scrub it into the fabric doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to add some leaves and all kinds of little butterflies and things, which I thought be, would be lots of fun. Okay, a couple little back petals just to kind of fill in the flower. And then we'll add Oh, maybe we'll add some yellow to kind of tie them in together. Might be fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna add another one right in here maybe. And these ones are the DecoArt So Soft. And they really are just like the name. They really are so soft when they dry. Really nice to use on clothes and all kinds of fabrics. Okay, 
just adding a little highlight at the top there again a couple little back petals but this is the quarter inch lunar blender it works so great for fabric um, just because it has that little bit of a bristle hair in there so it's got a little it's a little bit stiff which is nice when you're working with that texture So I've got one that's tucked in. Most of these tulips are nice and open, blooming. Okay, and I'm gonna add, again, a little bit of orange coming from the bottom. Just pick up a little bit and you just hold your brush straight up and down and just sort of flick upwards. Nice and easy. These, these tulips don't have a lot of detail in them. They're just fun little just a fun little project. Nice and quick. Let's add one that's a nice orange one. This one might be a little bit more closed. Maybe a little yellow highlight at the top. Okay, so I'm just flicking the color on and I'm gonna come back when it's dry even and add a little bit more. So it really pops. Okay, you could even add a little bit of red. I'm just sort of winging it. Let's see what happens. Got all these fun new colors to try out. Maybe a little bit on this one, sort of ties them all together. And then I'm gonna have a nice pink one right at the top here, sort of peeking out. And then I'm just going to add a little highlight. So a little bit of white. What the heck? Just add that right at the top. You just dash it on. Don't think too much. Just have fun. This is a fun little project. Colors look really nice and vibrant on that linen background. So pretty. Okay. I might come back and even add a little swirl. I love swirls. Okay, maybe a little bit of red at the bottom. Just flick it up from the bottom, just to add a little bit of color. Okay. I'm gonna tie this one in and maybe add a little touch of pink. Right. Okay, so and then I'm going to add a few little stems. While those are drying, I'm going to come back and add a little bit brighter color here. Um, I'm just going to take some of the darker green and I'm going to use the chisel of my brush. Okay, so that's just where the, the hairs come to a nice line. So I'm going to turn it and hold it straight up and down and I'm going to add those stems. So nothing too fancy, just painting those in with that nice darker green like so. So now they have a little bit of a stem. Might want to add a little bit of more greenery there. Sometimes tulips even have a little bit of green sort of at the bottom there. So you can flick a little bit up, upwards. If you like. move her out of the way. Okay, and then 
then just another little tulip right here. Why not? So fun. Love that green. Okay, now let's add some nice little leaves. Okay, I'm going to add a really nice big one that's going to come up like this. Maybe on the here just a little bit. Like so. I love those tulip leaves. They're so pretty. Okay, and I'm going to add some of that nice lighter green as well. So I'm just going to scumble that in. Love that pop of color. I love vibrant colors. They're so pretty. Just makes painting so much fun. Okay, so I'm just going to round this off coming in behind. Maybe a nice little highlight here. Okay, and then we've got to, of course, add some more little leaves right in here for this guy. Just poke them in behind. Okay, and we can always tweak these after. Okay. Okay, and then some on the stem. Let's just add a nice little dash. And I'm just using the chisel of my brush to add all these little highlights to the stem. Okay. And now I'm just going to add some more of those leaves. Okay. As long as they're sort of longer and skinny, then they'll look like a tulip leaf. And then if you put your highlight sort of in the center, it'll almost look like your leaf is folded a little bit. This was a really long tulip. my little gnome right in the center but if you don't have a gnome you could uh, where you could paint her on or just add another tulip right in the middle it looks super cute okay so I've sort of let this dry just a little bit and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add just a few little highlights right on top just to kind of brighten them a little bit more maybe just a little bit of yellow in there really make it pop okay like this so again, I'm just kind of using the chisel a little bit here and there and then the flat of the brush. Add those nice highlights. Love it. It's like spring outside. Our weather has gotten so much better. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so right in here, just adding a few more little highlights. Again, I'm just holding it right on the ferrule metal part of the brush. Rest your hand as much as you can. Try not to get paint anywhere else, but you know what? The great thing is, is if you make a mistake and add something cure, you can always add a bee or a butterfly. It's perfect. Okay, so just adding a few more little highlights. Finish that off. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and add a 
couple more little things to my tulip just to kind of strengthen the color, maybe add a few more little highlights. Now that they're dry, the color will, will just kind of sit on top and look a little bit more vibrant rather than blend in. Okay, and these are all with the DecoArt fabric paints. So those nice little so softs. And they have glitter, which I'm gonna add to. It's gonna really make them come to life. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of scribble it in here and there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and just add a few more little highlights to my tulips. Okay. Really make them pop. Okay, and I can use, um, I have a little eighth inch lunar blender that I'm gonna use for some of those little swirls that I have to put in. If any, if you've painted with me before, you know I love swirls. They're absolutely my favorite. Just do them really, you know, don't think too much. Just kind of do it quick. So pull down, give it a nice little whimsical feel. So a nice little swirl like this. Okay, I'm gonna use Maybe a little bit of yellow for this orange tulip. Give it a nice little highlight. So pretty. Okay. Again, don't think too much. You just pull down and then I come down this way and this way. And on the fabric, it's a little bit more loose, not quite so sharp, but I think it looks Great. Just nice whimsical little piece. Okay, so I've got white and a little bit of yellow. I'm really just going to pop out that front petals. Got a little bit of green that dropped on that petal, but It'll still work. So fun. Okay, and then on our red, just going to take a little bit of white give it a nice little highlight maybe a little swirl because <laughs> why not you got to have fun when you're painting don't think too much just What a pretty little tulip. Okay, so I can just envision a little butterfly or a little bee. Okay, and then this last one, I'll just add a little bit more highlight with some lighter yellow and a little bit of white. So I've just got some, you don't have to have the exact same colors. You can just pick whatever tulip colors that you want. Um, add a little white for highlight. Maybe some of your, I usually sort of tie them in together by you know, for the shadow on this one, I'm maybe gonna add some orange just to tie them. Tie them in. Okay. And if you don't have the fabric paints, you can use the fabric painting medium and just mix it in with um, the DecoArt Americana acrylics. Works great too. But the so softs are really nice on fabric. I love them. Okay, a little bit of orange at the bottom. Again, this one doesn't blend in so much just because that color's dry. And here's our little gnome sitting in the garden. <laughs> Isn't she cute? 
Um, this little gnome is actually from one of my little pattern packs. You can find it on my website. It's called Hello Easter and Fresh Carrots and it's a download. So you can purchase it on hollyhanley.ca and you download it instantly and you can print it out right away. So there's no waiting, which is nice. Okay, and again, you don't even need a little gnome. You can just paint it up like this and maybe add another little tulip in the center. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add her there and then I'm gonna add some more little butterflies and things here and there. I find such great stuff at Dollarama. It's so much fun. Alrighty, having fun? We're just gonna add that lettering. I'm gonna use my little eighth inch Lunar Blender because it has a bit of a bristle, so it'll really get into that fabric texture. Okay, and again, you can pick any colors that you want. I picked a nice uh, teal to match her hat. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I'm using the chisel of the brush, okay, to paint that in. So again, make sure that your hand is nice and clean or you might have more little critters in your picture just to fix up any of those little mistakes. Okay, so I'm just using that teal color, so pretty, I love it. So fun. Okay, and you don't have to put Hello Spring on, you could always just even leave it if you don't want any lettering on. Okay, I love painting on fabric just because it's so forgiving. I love the texture in it. Okay, whenever you're doing lettering, always start at the top and pull down like this. Okay, never push up with your brush. So each letter usually takes a couple strokes to do. Okay, so just pulling down like so. Oh, how cute is that? And then I just sort of kind of went along, love those little swirls and things. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white. Nice little dash of a highlight at the top. Don't think too much, just kind of adding a little dash right here. Okay, like so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use a round brush for the rest of the lettering. Okay, that's gonna be with um, pink. I love the pink, so pretty. Okay, so just taking that little bit of pink. So now that I've got it painted in, I'm just adding a nice little white highlight on there with that. I didn't even rinse my brush out. I'm just putting a little dash here and there with a little bit of white. Love it, makes it kind of pop there. So fun, okay. And then, of course, we need some little butterflies. I'm actually gonna even add a little accent with green on the teal. Ooh, how fun is that? That looks so nice. I love it. Lime green with teal is just so cute. Okay. So that's just with my round brush. I'm just adding a nice little highlight. It looks so fresh and springy. Okay, so that's with a little bit of that lighter lime green. If you don't like that, you definitely don't have to add it. Okay. And then maybe just a little touch of yellow on the spring. Why not, right? OK, 
It really brightens it up. It almost looks like there's sun shining on it. So cute. Okay. Now, let's add a few little butterflies. And these I got from Dollarama too. So they just come in a little pack. And I thought it would be cute to have a little yellow flower. And of course, I'm going to add So some I have these little glitter. I'm gonna uh, dip it in a little glitter bath. Okay, so I'm gonna take that flower and paint it yellow. I want this really nice bright yellow color. Okay, so just painting it in. Okay, um, might wanna even use just the regular acrylics for the wood pieces. And then I'm just going to dip it in glitter, because why not? <laughs> oh, that looks so cute. Okay, so there's my sparkly little flower. And then I've also got, um, I've got some pink ice. It's a fabric glitter. Like, how fun is that? Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of that. And I'm going to paint this on that pink tulip. Oh, that looks so darn pretty. Okay. So this is the pink ice fabric glitter. Oh, I love it. I'm going to even add some to the red. Because why not? And of course, we need some on the lettering. Okay, so just taking a little bit of that. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, and the butterflies, you can paint whatever you want, whatever color that you want. So if you want them to be orange or pink, Or yellow so I'm just putting on that and this is like the galaxy glitter it's just really pretty okay and then I've got some gold glitz here I've also got there's a red twinkle. I could have put that on the um, the red tulip. And there's a hologram. I'm gonna use the clear ice too, because that's always nice. Okay, so this is just the clear ice. This is really nice, because you can paint it on any color. So I'm just gonna put it on those yellow tulips, just to make them sparkle. So your <laughs> tulips don't have to be perfect. You add some glitter to them and they look amazing. Like, wow. Okay, even on the orange. Okay, and then I need a couple little butterflies. I'm going to paint. Okay, so there's a nice big one. Maybe I'll have that one right here and then another little one right there and then of course I've got this little girl so she's got a couple little butterflies so at the dollar store I find these cute little cutouts I know why sometimes I get a little carried away but they had little mushrooms oh they're so cute so I'm gonna put a couple more little butterflies and a couple little mushrooms at the bottom just because they're so darn cute okay so I'm just going to paint these Again, very basic. Okay, and then I'm just gonna dip them in glitter. Because why not have a sparkly little mushroom at the bottom? <laughs> oh, those are cute. Okay, and then, <laughs> don't you just love them? And then we need some little butterflies. Okay, so I've got a really pretty orange here. 
I'm just going to paint this one orange. I know I'm going a little overboard. This is supposed to be just really a couple little things on this um, little pin board, but what the heck. Okay, so again, just dipping that in glitter and I'm gonna put a little butterfly. Like what great little cutouts, they're so cute. And you can put them on anything. They just make everything look pretty. Okay, so right in here, again, you can see how particular I'm being. It's kind of a mess, but once you dip it in glitter, they just look beautiful. Shake it around. And voila, like how pretty is that? All right. <laughs> so there's our fun little project. I hope you guys had fun today. Look at these, there's even little birds. Do I need a, <laughs> what the heck, let's add a bird. I know I'm going a little overboard here, but there's gonna be no place to pin anything. <laughs> Oh well, this is just gonna look so cute in my entrance. Okay, there's our little bird. So you could hot glue these on. I don't know, where are we gonna put the bird? Bird's gonna sit on the tulip maybe. So cute. Okay, I hope you guys had fun. I'm Holly Hanley. You can check out my website. It's www.hollyhanley.ca and uh, you can follow me on Facebook. It's at Holly Hanley Artist. And have a great day and stay safe.